If HelloFresh was a winter staple for me before, it's a must have this year. Check out America's number one meal kit and get 10 free meals, including free shipping with the code 10TMGW at HelloFresh.com slash 10TMGW. This might get weird. Are we rolling? We are rolling. Oh, cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, Memory Heart. Here's your tiny baby cocktail that we are doing at 4.30 because it's too late for caffeine. Thank you. I know. That's the, you know, when you told me you're going in the house and you didn't know if you were going to get caffeine, I said, I'll take whatever you get. See, I felt like you were setting me up to make a little <laughs> cocktail because it was, it was very vague of like, I mean, if that, if you are going to make a thing, I will drink it. Whatever you uh, make, I will drink. Uh, well, thank Thank you. I appreciate your trust. It's going to be fucking weird, though, because it's watermelon vodka and grapefruit soda. It's great. Cool. Yeah. It just tastes like uh, artificial fruit flavoring and uh, vodka. It's yeah. It's Starbucks, <laughs> Starburst Zimas or whatever. How are you, Grace Helbig? I'm great. I, I mean, I'm great. And I'm also, you know, everything's very strange right now. Very surreal. I have this like um, I wrote down that I have like paralyzed excitement right now. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we're recording this on Tuesday. The inauguration's on Wednesday. We have no idea what's going to go down tomorrow. But for right now, while we are currently living in the past of yeah. when you're listening to this, we are excited and optimistic excited optimistic hopeful but mm-hmm. also you know aware yeah. of everything and so yeah i feel like a, a little kid on a leash that's been given oh. so much sugar you know but they can only go so far mm-hmm. so uh yeah that's where i'm at right now i also just came back from joshua tree and slept in a spaceship for two nights well so, yeah we're gonna get to that yeah. i mean you can't just like drop that and then be like oh and by the way that. casual thing that happened i feel like with the inauguration mm-hmm. i kind of feel like when we do shows yeah and you know there's like 900 million parts to get through and then when you get to like the last bit and yeah. you're like I think we're getting through this show. All the tech cues have worked out so I far. I think we're okay. <laughs> yeah. But but you could still completely royally fuck it up. Truly. Like I've remembered all my lines, but I've still got three more pages of lines. Yeah, exactly. And this is the end dance sequence that everything has to come together. Totally. On. Yeah. The I went through and looked at a, a BuzzFeed list earlier of the acts at uh yeah, did you just drink your own drink? I did, and it was <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where our taste levels are different. I'm like, this, wow. whatever aspartame this is, is fine for me. Woof, 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 woof. Uh, I went through, they had a comparison of the 2016 inauguration performances oh versus what is happening for the 2021 inauguration. Wait, can I try to guess some of the Trump ones? Well, I only wrote down just like the first three Trump ones versus the first three Biden ones. Yes. And so... Um, uh, was Go it, ahead. You was can it three doors down? Was that the yeah. w- three doors down? There was like something machinka. Like there was something. There was like a little girl singer. Well, yeah, there was um, a youth sibling musical group called Pelican Two Twelve. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God! I have all their albums. <laughs> yeah, and they're not youths anymore. No. They're probably teenagers, and I don't know what their thoughts are about having to have done that. How pissed would you be? Because I feel like they've had a lot of like children dancing at their events and singing. Yeah. How pissed would you be if like you're little, you don't know shit about politics, about and anything, then, and then you're like 16 and you realize your parents put you on stage? At a time when the internet documented and Everything. kept it all forever. Oh my, oh, I know. Okay, who's the third act? Well, okay, the first ones that BuzzFeed had listed was, um, well, the, I think this girl sang the... Um, National Anthem? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> America's Got Talent contestant yes. Jackie Iv- Ivan- Ivancho? Ivanchinko or something like Ivancho. that. I knew it was like yeah. a little girl. Versus... Biden is having Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga. <laughs> yeah. And then she was goo goo. Now we got Gaga. Yeah. Uh, another notable performance from 2016 the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Okay. Yeah. Versus uh, 2021 Bruce Springsteen. I mean, <laughs> how hot is Bruce Springsteen? Sorry, Chip. I don't I have know. a chance, but like he's so and hot. Not only Bruce Springsteen, we got Bon Jovi as well Stop happening tomorrow. Stop it. New Jersey's finest. Are you yeah. like drenched i this is why my <laughs> yeah my child leash i'm like chewing through it right yes. now the uh uh the other notable one was the emerald society washington dc's fire department band that yes that was trump's yeah versus 2021 john legend 
<laughs> I mean, you guys, I'm so excited for shit to be classy again. I'm just, yeah, I'm excited to be excited again. But there's also this weird, you know, pang of like not allowing yourself to fully go there just yet. But. No, I feel like we're back in the ballroom when in the past four years we've been at the Golden Corral. <laughs> You know what I mean? I feel like Sorry, I almost spit out whatever's I, in this glass. Right. I'm excited for things that have to do with Washington, D.C. and the White House to be like, oh, that's too fancy for me. As right. opposed to I wouldn't be caught dead there. I cannot wait. Yeah, exactly. For everyone that's involved in the situations in D.C. to be infinitely smarter. Yes. And more um, boring. Yeah. For, I, I'm interested Worried but excited for everyone to ease into things being boring again. Okay. And the thing I love about it is I've talked about it at length on this podcast. Yeah. That I have a news problem that I watch too much news that I can turn on the news as like background as I like make myself something to eat in the morning or making coffee. And then all of a sudden, wham, bam, jam. It's it's six o'clock mad owl. Yep. Um, it's been really rough. I've lost a lot of hours. <laughs> I this weekend, um, I was in Palm Springs and I realized I went three days without like seeing the news. The news. Like I checked CNN. And I was on Twitter and mm-hmm. things like that. But I went three days without watching any news. Mm-hmm. That's fucking unheard of for the last four years. But also healthy, healthy <laughs> shit. No, I was walking beans today and I was thinking about it and, and I think it's true. I was like, I'm going to be so much hotter <laughs> Now that I don't wake up stressed out. That's what I mean. I feel like we've all been You've in been this. warned. You've been warned. You guys have been warned. How hot I'm going to be. Uh, uh, we've all been in this holding pattern. Like yeah. I, I feel like I really cannot completely focus on anything else. Right. Because I, like you, have news on in the background or Twitter open on my laptop in a tab, yep. you know, that I'm not currently looking at, but it's always there mm-hmm. that like you're there's this worry constantly that something could happen that yep. you need to be alerted to. And so how else can you get anything done? No, so- you got to go from Deadline White House to the beat with Ari Melber to <laughs> the readout with Joy Reid to oh, Chris I- Matthews to Rachel Maddow to the fi- last word with Lawrence O'Donnell to Brian Williams. <laughs> Those have been my uh, like outside of you. Those, and beans, those have been my best fucking friends for four years. <laughs> I know. If anything, in all of this mess, it has truly um, brought me into such a, a deep love for Joy Reid. I am, she's the shit. She's so great. Her Twitter's so fantastic. I'm just in awe of her as a human being handling all of this. Yeah. I mean, everyone in news handling all of this. But her especially, I just wasn't totally alerted to. I feel like they should all get the longest vacations. Longest. Whatever they want. Whatever they want. I'm so excited. Again, we're recording this early. So, like, let's hope we don't have to throw it away. But I'm, like, planning a brunch tomorrow morning. Are you? Yeah. What's your... I have not thought that far in advance. But, you know, like, I woke up at 6 a.m. and made impeachment cobblers and honey comey for the comey trial. Like... (laughs) You guys remember when like there was a, a, a shred of hope that like James Comey was going to do something and then it was like, oh, and then what's his face? Uh, what? Who was the investigator for a million years that came up short? James you know. Comey? No, no, no. He looks like the he looks like the owl from um, uh, Muppets. Oh, man. Why I'm, am I blanking on everything? I'm Googling FBI investigator that came up short. No, then it's just going to show you short investigate. We'll forget. I'm I'm like blanking on words, but I'm just saying like every I've held on to every little shard of hope. Yeah. As Chip has been like, babe, don't get your hopes up. And I'm like, mm. I have to in yeah. some way. And so now there finally is a real release. And so I have a Biden brunch where we're doing scrambled eggs and he's got bacon. I got veggie sausage. I'm making pancakes, blueberry pancakes. Ooh. And I've got a bottle of uh Vouv Clicquot rosé in the fridge. I'm opening champagne at 10 a.m. I mean, yeah. And like dedicating the day to exhaling. Yeah, I think that's absolutely fantastic. And what you need to do, because as much as you want to be cautious, you also want to feel free to feel joy. You I, know, yeah. like uh, let, let us uh, have hope. Let us uh, finally get back to thinking that like smart, capable people have been put in positions to do really good stuff. I truly feel like tomorrow is going to feel like a political orgasm. (laughs) 
truly I think I'm gonna be wiped I think like the second he that his hand comes off that bible I'm just gonna be like deuces and like pass out for three days I know uh I've I got been, shit to do I wish I could I've been following Mina Harris on Twitter yes, and I'm Kamala, just get, Kamala's sister oh yeah, uh, no uh, oh. is that her niece oh got it and ev- Maya is her sister mm, yeah okay. and every time she tweets about how excited she is about this I just get like chills by proxy and I'm like just watching it. them like live for this moment that has been so long coming is really beautiful can i <laughs> whatever as, it is yes <laughs> as as trump is on his way out and i just put up a uh an instagram with a song i i did about him leaving um i can't wait to go see it well because he has the new radicals are playing you know that song like don't give up yeah you, which is one of my favorite songs at all time it's like very connected to me and my stepmom and dad and apparently it's like the biden family's like theme song okay and so they the new radical dude is coming and singing that like hasn't performed live oh, in like wow. 20 years i'm so excited um where was i going with this oh i don't know where i was going you with posted this. on mm. your instagram recently oh okay but, but my favorite thing about the last 24 hours of trump leaving yeah <laughs> tell me because i have not fully caught up Tiffany Trump announced her engagement today. What? Yes. To what? <laughs> to what? <laughs> what in the heck is that? Um, she announced her engagement. And so like the official photos are at the White House. How fucking funny is it to be like, you know what? My dad's getting kicked out of here. I better go ahead and get my engagement photos. Wow. At the White House. At Isn't the White that House. so funny to take this specific moment? Wow. That's, I mean, it, all of this is just so like. Bizarre. Bizarre, but also just so consistently tone deaf. <laughs> so tone deaf, but also like, this is what I want to know about it. Because Tiffany, first of all, she sounds like Miley Cyrus like on quaaludes oh yeah we've seen her at the the dc pride event oh so good i wonder is if did her now fiance was he like oh fuck i better propose to her while i'm still technically like like proposing to the a first daughter you know what I mean? Like, why would you slide it in? The whole family's pissed. They're finally crumbling. They're I think finally going to be like fucking knocked down. I think this is her attempt to try and slice off from the family and go, I'm just a normal girl with a, a, a fiance. Mm. And look, you don't have to bash me because I'm just trying to live my normal human girl life. That's relatable to wow. everyone. No, it's not and relatable. I say, no, 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 no. Tiff, tiff. <laughs> It really cracked me the fuck up that, that uh, of yeah. all days, this is the day. And all of the, I just Googled it, all of the headlines were like, Tiffany Trump slips engagement announcement into farewell post as dad prepares for post White House life. Like, it's all being sidebarred by the fact that her father's still Donald Trump and still the worst. So I'm like, I know. what do you want from this? Tiff, Tiff, what a damn wreck. We have support for today's episode from a company that is there to support you. Literally, 2021 is your time to shine, so focus on what makes you happy, starting with better bras and underwear. You know Mamrie and I are very particular about our bras and underwear, and we both are huge fans of Third Love. They create better bras that focus on what matters, keeping you comfortable. There's no shortcuts, no substitutions. They have modern stripes to lace, and they actually feel soft to their number one rated 24-7 classic t-shirt bra. You can check out all the exclusive styles at thirdlove.com. So all you do, if you're not sure sure about your size, is you take their Fit Finder quiz, you find a style and size that fits your breast shape and your body. You answer a few simple questions and you will get your perfect fit. And over 16 million women have taken this quiz to date. You know I only wear sports bras, but if I'm not wearing sports bras, I'm wearing Third Love bras because they are so comfortable. And you can feel great about supporting Third Love because they donate all of their gently used returned bras to women in need, supporting charities in their local San Francisco Bay Area and across the United States. So far, they've donated over 40 million dollars in bras they stand behind their products because if you don't love it exchanges and returns are free so if you're interested in getting a third love bra you can go to thirdlove.com slash tmgw now and find your perfect fitting bra and get 20 percent off your first purchase again 20 percent off by going to thirdlove.com slash tmgw 
thirdlove.com slash TMGW for 20% off today. There's some mornings you wake up and you feel like hopping out of bed and immediately getting back in, pulling the covers over your head and going back to sleep. But no judgment, of course. However, let's make the reason you want to get back in bed because you have the most comfortable sheets of all time. No lie at all, I love my Brooklyn and sheets. And every single morning and every single night, me and Chip are like, ah, our bed is so comfortable. It makes it so difficult. I'd be so much more productive if they weren't as nice. Brooklyn and a little history for you was started by Rich and Vicky, who also tried to find beautiful home essentials that don't cost an arm and a leg. Sometimes sheets are so expensive, but Brooklyn and was the first direct to consumer bedding company so it takes out the middleman and makes it actually you know affordable you can have luxury available directly to you without luxury level markups there's lots of different sheets colors patterns materials so it'll fit your need your preferences and also your taste so it can look really cute in your room there's over 50,000 five star views and counting plus there's a 365 day money back guarantee you got to check them out also it's been a hell of 4 years so why don't you do something nice for yourself and 2021. To help you do that, Brooklinen has a special offer. So go to brooklinen.com and use promo code TMGW to get $25 off when you spend 100 bucks or more, plus free shipping. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com and enter promo code TMGW to get 25% off when you spend 100 bucks or more, plus free shipping. That's brooklinen.com. Use promo code TMGW at checkout. I'm telling you, they are the sheet. It's also Dolly Parton's birthday. I know. She's 75. 75 years old. In the the continuous things that are too surreal to process. A couple things. Mm -hmm. One, isn't it crazy, though, that Betty White turned 99 yesterday, which means she's still 24 years older than Dolly Parton. Wild. Wild. Like, she was... Could be her mother. Yeah, Betty White was 24 years old when Dolly Parton was born in that one-bedroom shack in Tennessee. Isn't that fucking crazy? That is crazy. Um, But... Furthermore, I just wanted to say, with Dolly, with Dollywood, if mm-hmm. you had a theme park, what would it be called? Oh, if I had a theme park, what would it be called? Yeah. Ooh, um, f- 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 fun. <laughs> There's already a band. <laughs> I know. They'd be welcoming you in. Uh, no, what would you call yours? Well, I always say mine would be Mametown. Oh, yeah, Because it's yeah. still like a destination. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Dollywood, I guess it'd be like... Um, uh welcome to hell big i l- <gasps> oh i like that yeah but it okay. all, it'd be real like a uh, punny fun hellish version it. of you know because fun. i was thinking about that today and i was like does does grace like rides i don't think me and you have ever been to a theme park together really not- we've done down we've gotten drunk at downtown disney quite a bit <laughs> yeah, yeah. i but love not inside i love rides okay. i love uh experiences I don't like crowds in that okay. scenario. You got to get that speed pass or you're out of there. Yeah, I mm-hmm. don't love I've been to a bunch of theme parks and I love roller coasters, but I don't enjoy like the in between of everything. <laughs> Standing in line. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, exactly. So cares. OK, interesting. But yeah, I just realized I didn't know something about you. So I needed to uh, find it out. <laughs> well, OK, in, I'm trying to figure out a segue. And I know I'm about bouncing all over the place. Things that you don't know. Um, you don't know that I had a wild dream the other night. Oh, my God. I had a wild dream last night. What was yours? OK, so you know how you dreamt about me <gasps> sleeping with Guy Fieri. Right? You didn't just sleep, girl. There yeah. wasn't much sleeping going on. Girl. <laughs> Whatever it was. I, think I love him. I know. I think he's doing incredible stuff for I've the, been, the working world. Like I've been falling asleep to Guy's ranch nightly. I can respect someone without being sexually uh, aroused by them. Touche. Uh, but I <laughs> I had a dream the other night. That somehow, and it's a little blurry to me, but somehow you and I were brought in on an intervention with like this kind of this figure that was female, but like this amalgamation of like a real housewife slash Kardashian, just kind of like I would call those women amalgamations. Yeah, like uh, (laughs) like like full like put together. Yeah, but also just like the worst representation of like social media use, etc. Okay, and you and I were brought in for some reason. And we were like listening intently to this situation. And this person was just like full of shit. And you, (laughs) you were so polite. And I wish I could remember exactly what you said. But you started to speak very polite to this person. And then you broke down and just said, look, I'm no psychologist, but I know you got to knock it off and start reading the room. (gasps) And then the next thing I realized 
is that in real life, Elliot woke me up and he like, now I'm awake looking at Elliot. He's like, are you okay? And I was delirious. He goes, because you've been giggling in your sleep and it's oh creeping me out. Oh <laughs> my God. Whatever you were saying to this person, I was laughing out loud <laughs> in real life. Oh, that's so creepy. And he was so scared of it. And I was like, I don't know. Because I was still like half asleep that the next morning I had to be like, did you wake me up? He's like, yes, because you were <gasps> laughing in your sleep. I've never heard you do that before. Two things. That is so creepy creepy and I've I'm so honored yeah <laughs> I'm so honored that sleep memory killed sleep memory it was respectful and blunt and it was great wow yeah. go me see Good that's job. the kind of energy I'm trying to bring to 2021 yeah well it's in my unconscious rattling well, around thank somewhere you. well speaking of unconscious rattling mm-hmm. my dream last night was terrifying and clearly a manifestation of my anxiety Mm -hmm. from the past few weeks. Okay. We were sitting in this very room, Grace Helbig, about to record our podcast. I've been there. When it started pouring down rain (gasps) and we were like, oh, wow, it's pouring really, it's like raining really hard. So much so that we see that my back um, yard starts flooding (gasps) and it starts raising and these rats start coming towards the door and trying to pry the door (gasps) open to come in here for safety. That's truly a nightmare. Isn't that the fucking worst? Wow. I want to be giggling to me talking shit to a real housewife, (laughs) not being like, barricade the door, beans. The rats are trying to get in for the flood. So I saw that. And then today, as I'm looking up like weird headline type of stuff. Yeah. Then it was like my nightmare coming true. There is a squirrel in Queens. What? That's attacking people. And I mean like going for it what this this one woman in an interview showed her like (laughs) fucked up bitten up fingers Uh and wrist and it said like the squirrel jumped a pounced from a tree onto her wrist then started going crazy they were wrestling on the ground and (laughs) a direct quote of her says this was an mma cage match and i lost (laughs) with a fucking squirrel (laughs) that is her (laughs) description one a very specific <laughs> description but also i don't know i mean if you get a squirrel on your hand yeah and then you end up on the ground with the squirrel on like your hand fully like it was a puppet like whipping it back and forth wow like uh, get that squirrel in the ring with jake paul see this <laughs> This is also why I can't let myself get too excited because shit like that happens in the world. Because you start to go, well, you know, nature is healing. And then it's like, no, it's not. Well, I also looked up animal uh, news. news. Let's be honest. We look up animal news. Look, I look up weird news and it just so happens to constantly be about animals. See, I look up weird news. And the first thing it always takes me to is like Huffington Post or like UPI.com. That's where this one's from. But the... The first thing is always the same article about aliens, yeah. which, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. But oh, anyway, we need more weird news. This headline uh, is one to think on. OK, it's man spends four hundred dollars to find out limping dog was imitating owner. <gasps> this, Wait, what? A British man said he spent four hundred dollars to have a vet examine his dog's limp. But it turned out the canine was just imitating his owner who had a broken ankle. So. So this dog <laughs> just started doing what his owner was doing, but the owner thought he was hurt, Aww. took it to the vet, and they were like, nothing's wrong with your dog. He was just a performance artist. Yeah, truly. And he now was probably I'm- doing it to the owner so the owner would go get his ankle checked out. He yeah. was being a mirror. Right. And now I'm like looking at our dogs very differently. <laughs> Uh-oh. If Bean is representing me, I'll take it. She's always topless. She she gets what she wants. Yeah. She shuts down people. She goes after the haters. Well, you were telling me that you saw the video I put on Patreon I of did. her going for the jugular of Sweet Hobby and Yarrow. I finally watched it, and it was like watching uh, a woman possessed. Yeah. Beans I've never seen like that before. Beans could take down Squirrel and Queens. I know. That's what I'm saying. All of the animals have started turning into They've animals. They've started turning on us. Yeah. Oh, no. That's so terrifying. Um, You know, who else? Is an animal. I mean, I have guesses, but who? <laughs> me. I started a TikTok. <laughs> I know. I was so proud of you. And Thank also, you. when you texted me, I started a motherfucking TikTok. I was like, this is... This is real. This is very threatening, and I'm very excited. Uh, well, yeah, and it's fantastic. Have well, you... 
I've only done one. Yeah. I'm about to put up my second one. Basically, the thing I put on Instagram, I'm also going to put on TikTok. Yeah, the yeah. Cr- cross promote. But I did the bus it challenge where it's like, have you seen like other people do this? I've seen a few people do it. And it's basically just like, I mean, TikTok it's is so a, annoying. Uh, this is a genre where it's like, how do I use a song to allow me to get dressed up to yes. go from gross to gorgeous? And then that's Thank it. Thank you. It is such an excuse to be like, yeah. hey, guys, I'm normal slash very hot. I'm very hot in case you've forgotten. And I'm going to use this trend to just let myself get some attention. Well, I will say, though, I watched a bunch of them. And so, you know, they're dancing. It's like hot in here. And yeah. then they drop. And when you drop it, like match cuts to them. Makeup is magic. Truly. Because some of these people be looking like toes. <laughs> like a big toe. And then they drop and all of a sudden I'm like, that's a fucking supermodel. And look, that's why it's such a wonderful trend that yes. people have got. I like look at the transformations. And I no shade to anyone that's done no. this. It's very fun. It's also, very fun. what else are we doing? What else are we supposed to do? But sometimes it'll be someone and they'll look 13 and they drop and they're 42. Right. And I don't know if that's like uh, OK or not. I don't either. <laughs> but I did mine. And when I drop, I cut to a, a corgi shaking its butt. And yeah. that's why I texted you because I know Elliot loves a corgi. I know he does. And he was very much in love with it. But he thought I, it was great. I, lo- I watched a 10 minute compilation video of cor- <laughs> literally called Corgi Butts. <laughs> to find that. To yeah. find it. And corgis have ass uh, like, i knew they were plump yeah. but like corgis holy shit they're thick yeah they're like loaves of bread like <laughs> yeah but loaves of bread uh, that like there was too much dough on one side yeah. and it and it bubbled over i don't like it too because it feels like they yeah. know it yeah like, <laughs> like pra- they know like, how to use it in were- a way that's like this is my butt and i'm using it i like dogs because they have no awareness of their bodies no corgis <laughs> definitely feel like they go to a trainer and they're like can we do squats? I want I want a peach. I know. And they're about to go do like a fit tea Instagram post right after. I need a trend that's just like put a thong on a corgi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I don't want to see it. I can already see it no. in my head. No, if you have know. a corgi and you listen uh-uh. to this podcast, you better fucking put a thong on that corgi. That- make it walk around. <laughs> Send me a video. Animal cruelty or is that like a thunder coat? I, yeah. <laughs> bikini on beans oh yeah yeah yeah. i'm not saying like put a thong on your corgi and make him wear it all day <laughs> i just want to see that but fat that's kind of exactly what you just that's kind of exactly what I, i'm not saying put a thong on a corgi and then make it wear it while you take it through the neighborhood no but maybe causing it deal. shame but i just think it'd be huh. i just i watch 10 minutes of corgi butts and they're like butts they're truly shaped more like human butts than most dog butts are and it's very jarring I wonder what it looks like shaved. I'm sure it's a quick Google. Hold away. on. Hold on. Corgi butt shaved. Is this going to freak me out or is it the way they groom them? It's got to be the way they groom them. You know how they do the dog heads that look like perfect circles? Yeah. Uh, and that sort of thing. Mm. It less impressive. It's less impressive. It's less impressive. Uh, anyway, that's... so that I started a TikTok. I still don't get it. I know like, same, I don't get it at all. I have one video on my TikTok also, and then I always forget about it. And when I go to look at it, TikTok is so fast. It's so fast and so concentrated. And everyone that posts things is very funny. They're and so, very good at it. I'm never going to be good at it. This is how I felt about Vine. This is the same oh. exact feeling that I'm like, these people just are built to make stuff like this. And True. I cannot generate this way. But I also hate, well, most things. But <laughs> when I go on the tickety took. Uh-huh. I've already d- dove into like I've heard why like famous people on there. So then I'm like, let me look it up. And it's just infuriating to what is like how many followers people have. Yeah. M- for doing yeah. nothing. Mm-hmm. Sorry. This or is, is my gr- I'm putting on my grandma rant. <laughs> But it's just truly like, or, and now it's to the point too where it's not even like YouTube when people would get rich and they'd be like, I'm going to film my crazy helicopter date with my boyfriend. Yeah. Now it's just like 10 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, I don't know what the end game is. But I don't either, but they better be investing that fucking money. Right? Uh, it's also just like, it's so inundated that it's overwhelming. Anything mm-hmm. that you think to do, someone's done it six years ago on totally. TikTok. We're late to the game, but hey, give us suggestions, guys, on TikToks that we yeah. should get into. Help us. Um, We're old. 
today we have support from one of my favorite companies. It's HelloFresh. If you did not know, HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. They cut out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or less. They offer 23 plus recipes each week featuring a range of flavors, cuisines, and ingredients so you will never get bored. They got low calorie meals, carb smart meals, vegetarian and pescatarian options every week. So no matter what you choose, every single recipe is packed with fresh produce sourced directly from farmers. And you know that there's no fuss, no muss, no mess because everything is prepackaged and delivered to you. So there's no food waste. How wonderful. And I have literally a Tuscan chickpea kale and tomato soup recipe sitting in front of me that I cannot wait to make tonight. And if you follow my YouTube channel at all, you know that all I make are HelloFresh meals. So I'm all about it. And if you are interested in it, you can go to HelloFresh.com slash 10TMGW and use code 10TMGW for 10 free meals, including free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com slash 10TMGW and use code 10TMGW for 10 free meals, including free shipping. America's number one meal kit. There are few things better than that Friday evening feel. The clock's about to strike five. You know, you're about to go out and party. Psych, you're about to put on pajamas, kick on a movie, and open a delicious bottle of red. Well, guess what? You don't have to wait for that feeling once a week anymore because with First Leaf, any day can feel like Friday. What's First Leaf, you ask? Well, let me tell you. First Leaf is a wine club that sends personalized selections of wine from top vineyards around the whole world directly to you because the only thing better than one fantastic bottle of wine is a damn case of award-winning wine that shows up at your doorstep. Plus, every bottle is handpicked by experts with your exact preferences and palette in mind for a unique combination of wine you're guaranteed to love. Unlike other wine clubs, First Leaf uses an algorithm and your feedback to curate future wine recommendations. So let's say you have a few you really love, a nice dry red. Well, then you go online to your First Leaf account and you rate that one highly and they're going to put more like that in there. See, they're playing to your likes. They want you to stick around. They want to send you wine. Subscriptions are super flexible and arrive on your schedule with practically zero effort. So if you're like me and you drink wine quite a bit, then you're going to want to get on that heavy rotation or if you know you just like to have a bottle a weekend or something you might want to go for more of a monthly schedule it's all up to you and can be changed at any time plus first leaf is much more affordable than just going to a wine store there's top makers and vineyards and sometimes trying out new wines can get expensive but not with first leaf you get award-winning wine for an unbeatably low price I've been trying out all kinds of California Cabernets that I've never had before. And every time the package shows up, it's like this fun new game where I get to see these labels and read all about the wine I am about to enjoy that evening. So what the hell are you waiting for? Get that Friday feeling like I do any day with First Leaf. Join today and you'll get, listen to this, six bottles of wine for $29.95 and free shipping. Just go to tryfirstleaf.com slash TMGW. That's six bottles of wine for $29.95 and free shipping at tryfirstleaf.com slash tmdw. Tryfirstleaf.com slash tmdw. Six bottles of wine? Under $30? Are you crazy? Here's another news story that I thought was so funny. Um, Okay. This is the headline. One of my favorite headlines I've seen in a very long time. Wow. Yeah, it's from (laughs) reputable (laughs) news source, The Sun. Uh, Oh, S-O-N? The one about Jesus? Yeah, Yeah, almost. Here we go. Infernal flame. Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina scented candle explodes mm-hmm. into flames, causing an inferno in a woman's living room. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. I love this one. I almost did a You Deserve a Drink today in honor of it. It's fantastic. Jody Thompson, uh, what she got the risky product uh by doing an online quiz. She won this candle. She didn't purchase it, she won oh, it. Oh, really? Then how do we know it's not uh, a fake Th- there's photos fake. there are photos okay. if you are curious to check it out also in the article it reminds us that uh goop's website uh says the candle is cited as quote funny gorgeous sexy and beautifully unexpected wow but this is my favorite part of the whole news article about this moment uh that jody says the candle exploded and emitted huge flames <gasps> bits flying everywhere i've never seen anything like it 
The whole thing was ablaze and it was too hot to touch. There was an inferno in the room. We eventually got it under control and threw it out the front door. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like selfies of her holding this burnt candle in her living room. Does it look like a vagina or just smell like a vagina? It's supposed to smell like a vagina, supposedly, which is cited as funny, gorgeous, sexy, and beautifully unexpected. I... Look, Gwyneth Paltrow, I think, is fucking ridiculous. I'm She's sorry. She's like, a hilarious businesswoman. Yeah, but, okay, but here's something that really grinded my gears. Go for it. And I never said this if she wants to work with me. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is only if she never hears this. <laughs> is she was on, you know how John Favreau has that show Chef? Yeah. Which is so weird anyway, because he had a movie called Chef. It wasn't that successful. I've and then like the movie. four years later, he has a show called Chef. Yeah. Yeah. It's he seems weird. like he gets to do whatever he wants. He does whatever he wants. He, yeah. could, you know, he uh, owns everything. Yep. But he had Gwyneth on because they're buds. Right. And because he like wrote Iron Man. He's like, you know, the Marvel. Yeah. That's the other dude. thing. That's why he gets to do it every once. Exactly. <laughs> um, but she was on there and he said something about like one of the Spider-Mans. Yes. I remember this. And she was like. Didn't remember she was in the movie. Didn't remember that she was in that film. And I get it. Like the the Marvel Universe, there's a lot of movies. The storylines intertwined. Yep. Like someone from one, you know, Pepper Potts was probably just in one scene. Yep. But the audacity to not remember you're in the movie and <laughs> then also not be like, John, please cut that out. Right. I'm going to look like an asshole. Like her self-esteem is so large that she's like i don't remember what movies i'm in don't care if people know that yep also please light my pussy candle that's what i'm saying i don't know if it's all part of her plot to mm. be this weird aloof businesswoman that is in on her own joke and is so like blissfully uh unaware of mm -hmm. the work she's done because she's too busy in goop lab taking acid and making candles that smell i mean like if pussy. you name your business goop yeah. And you're like, I'm so confident that I don't think the name will stop it. Right. Yeah, I know. But then also people do nothing but make fun, make fun of it. And then you just double down being like, well, then I'm going to sell a candle that smells, smells like, like my, my pussy. pussy. Like, like it literally is. There's something respectable about that of just being like, yeah, I'm going to keep. Yeah, you're right. If people keep buying, I'm going to keep, keep doing selling. it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and, and, tr and I've also never heard the name of the company without in my head going goop. Gwyneth Poop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like everything I see the equation in my head of like, it's got to stand for that, right? I mean, it I starts would, with a G, like her name. Right. Uh, I always not, thought it was like, is like it the goop, scoop? Like, like the scoop? Oop, oops. But not, it's oh. not goops. Goops. I mean, that would be stupider, <laughs> but she also just sells. I'm trying to look at like, oh gosh, everything oh, no, starts no, at $95. Let me, you, let me tell you what she sells. Go I saw it. this yesterday mm -hmm. uh, after the candle, the Inferno. Her and motherfucking Alex Jones from Infowars. Now what? Both sell separately. Oh, okay. Like a like a herb or like a vitamin P supplement that like makes you um that makes you horny. Okay. Like Gwyneth is called like sex dust and his is called something else. It's the same exact pill. They're just packaged different. Wow. See, this is I mean she Isn't that some info for you? That's a war of info uh -huh. in my head right now. Gwyneth Poop. The, uh, <laughs> also, I'm looking at her website. One of the first candles that comes up is called This Smells Like My Prenup. That I and then the other one is I This hate, Smells I, Like My Vagina. I don't I, like I think she thinks she's being like stupid yeah. in a fun way. But it's also This Smells Like My Orgasm is the name of another candle. Stop and the candle it. costs. Stop. No. You want to guess? Oh, no. What? Seventy five dollars. This smells like a ripoff. Yeah, this is a ripoff of people are buying it. Can I see them? Are they beautiful candles? No, they look like every other candle. Oh, it's, it's just like the black yeah, jar. Like the matte black with a, a white like. Uh, this smells like my vagina. Mm hmm. Yeah. Now, OK. And here. then the under like the info under is it. What does it smell like? Citrusy bergamot, geranium and cedar juxtaposed with dam damask rose and ambret seed. I'll tell you one thing. My pussy does not smell like Earl Grey. <laughs> I know. She's saying her vagina smells like a cup of Earl Grey tea with some citrus, uh, a little cedar plank, I guess. and a fancy rose. 
I guess if you threw all of that in a fire, maybe you'd get the right smell. I know we've been talking about smells lately because we had a whole a two-parter on on jarts. Yes, yes, and thank you for all of the messages oh, that we've received it. about this. Very fun. It was so lovely. But now I have to know, Grace, mm-hmm. if you were gonna sm- smell, if you were gonna sell a candle. Yeah. That says this smells like my vagina. I'm not asking what yours actually smells like. I'm assuming it smells like a vagina. Yeah. But if you had to choose just one scent, what would you choose? Like, what would you want people to go like, oh, well, that's surprising. You know what I mean? It, oh, for a candle that would smell like my if vagina? If it said this smells like Grace's vagina, mm-hmm. what was, what is the scent profile you would choose? I don't know. Um, like, like, would it be something lovely or would it be like... Yeah, it'd be like, okay. uh, but like a uh, lovely and a bit devastating at the same time. You know, like... Wow! <laughs> I, excuse me! Are we on your Wattpad? Where is all this poetry... Co- <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Lovely and devastating at the same time? See, that would sell a candle. Change all your bios right, right now. Like, I think... Oh, my God. The scent profile would be like lemon and rust. Look, I'm a marketing <laughs> genius, and this is going to make us millions of dollars. I'm taking it to Shark Tank. Barbara's going to go for it because she's nasty, <laughs> and it's going to sell like crazy. The fact that you just whipped up like my vagina smells like rust (laughs) all right well i have to wow do you take too much iron i look i've been in a spaceship for 48 hours okay let's segue i'm but wait i have to ask you what yours is see i feel like i would do something as like a fuck you for being such an idiot for buying this candle right that i would just make it just pumpkin You know, I would do cinnamon bun. Like I would do like the most like <laughs> or, common yeah, candle that anyone does. I'd be like, oh yeah, unscented. Un- That'd be great. I'd be like, bitch, I clean. Unscented, but then you tell everyone it's got a scent, so, so they're, they're just, just trying to figure it <gasps> out. Their noses are just <laughs> deep in there. Like I don't know, guys. Are I'm you getting do like I have COVID? Cedar, cedarwood. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh man amazing amazing okay you've been in a spaceship for three days so you got this airbnb it looks amazing it was so great i we booked this uh you know back in june maybe like i'm talking months and months and months ago oh yeah no this i've i've literally looked at this airbnb before because i got obsessed with the guy for y'all listening if you haven't looked at grace's instagram you should it's basically like a round old school 60s spaceship they have them they have like it's a certain type Futuro is the name yes, of it. Yes, I got obsessed with one and by one. They're incredible, and I thought it was going to be like tacky and shitty. And we got there, and it was just awesome. It was like being in a yurt, basically mm-hmm. in the desert. Uh, a desert. A desert, and you're you're private. Like you can see other people from a distance in their own like you know campers or. Well, that's homes. how it is there. The land is so goddamn flat. Right. The land You're just is going to see people even if you have 100 acres. Yeah. And this place like we it has been booked up like crazy. So it's like you're going to a place where everyone mm-hmm. is so used to people staying here. Uh, but it was so fun. We got there at like, you know, four or five o'clock in the afternoon on the first day. And this guy we just like made a fire. And all I could hear was uh, down with the sickness playing <gasps> from the next camper As over. In- wow. Yeah, exactly. Disturbed was blasting like crazy. And we were like, I was like, this is perfect. This is wonderful. And then within like the half hour, they stopped playing it. Mm -hmm. But then they were playing it over and over again. It was all heavy metal. So it was like down with the sickness was the only one I could recognize. Then everything else was just like similar sounding. (laughs) But I wish you would just uh, remix. So then it was like the slow song of like, oh, uh, uh, uh." I know, right? (laughs) But then the next day, again, from like two to four or five, this person played heavy metal, like screamo for two or three hours and then politely stopped as soon as the sun went down and it was like great yeah th- you know this guy lives out in the desert he gets his rage on in the afternoon yeah. uh when the daylight is still available and then he packs up early and it's a solid night of sleep that could have gone very different being out in the middle of 
yeah. the desert and then like 100%. an RV just starts playing down with a sickness. 100%. That's a little scary. Very scary. And then when you're about to go back into the spaceship you're sleeping in for the night, all of it. So <laughs> my, <laughs> yeah, my ability to understand like what uh, reality is right now is a bit skewed, but it was super fun. And I also already got a message from the Airbnb host being like, I looked at your Instagram. <gasps> it looks great. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys had a little foot to shoot. Yeah. Really? Like if we just took a couple photos on his Elliot's iPhone phone and it was super fun because it's just beautiful out there and it's the weather was it looked awesome. gorgeous also can we go back to like how good my spaceship taking off noise was yeah that was really good <laughs> <laughs> i've never done that no- noise before and i started and i was like holy shit what have i unlocked you went back to back with a disturbed <laughs> and then a <laughs> It was better the first time, but wow. Sorry. I was just like, we need to uh, play it back. If we had someone to do this, play it back. Incredible. But yeah, it was super fun. They just had like a VHS player on a TV in there. So it was like we were at a sleepover and we were watching VHS tapes, watched Independence Day. I was going to say, do they only have... Yep. Alien themed ones. That's cool. Last night we watched Alien. The night before we watched Independence Day, which... A bummer of it all because I truly think that aliens are probably pretty nice and this is just a yeah. bunch of propaganda that we're like killing them. That's true. That does suck. It does I suck. got a little morning tipsy in Palm Springs. Mm. Uh, not even morning. It was it was afternoon, but it was yeah. still early. You don't have to justify anything. I know. <laughs> and I uh, bought the VHS of the Ninja Turtles live tour. <gasps> And the second VHS where they did a fake documentary about the making of the tour. Oh, fun. Because I didn't know that. They did a tour with Pizza Hut where they full on like as the Turtles as a band performed an album. For humans. For human for humans. With Splinter there? Just Splinter, like I think Splinter does act? a song called like <laughs> I Hate Music or something. Or I Hate Pizza. That's I have never heard of this. Well now I have the VHS and what's so funny is I posted it on Instagram and my friend Allison Bennett immediately texted me and was like, They have the whole thing on YouTube, I think. <laughs> Or like one of them. But yeah, so I got the yeah. VHSs of that. It blew my mind. I was like, can you imagine having that as a back pocket fact of like, mm-hmm. oh, no, when I was in my early 20s, I was Donatello on the live tour. That's so crazy. Isn't it weird? So crazy. Uh, but, oh, man. Uh, yeah. I mean, the world continues to get weirder. But also watching VHSs was super fun because... If you're going to make a joke or talk over the movie, you have to do it specifically because you can't you rewind uh, as yes. easily as you can now. It was great. It was so, fu- so fun. So chill. And now we're back to um, back you know, on Earth, back on Earth. Had a great time. No alien encounters. Just a bunch of other yuppies, you know, renting Airbnbs all around us. We went to this like really shady looking um a uh, little convenience store the first night to get firewood and then just like it. the sun setting and it's getting darker and it's just trucks all parked out front and like dogs barking in some distance and i was like i don't know about this and then i literally look at the people in the cars and it's just everyone that is uh renting airbnb exactly totally we went i went to a little uh store like that when i was out there um at claire's house yeah. and same i went and i was like oh this is the nicest store I've ever been yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. It's up beside some... Ja- you know what it was beside? Huh. Or it was across the street from... Remember when Chip and I went camping at Joshua Tree and it was so cold and so we went to a Mexican place and I put beans in my sweatshirt yeah. and pretended to be hung- yes. uh, pregnant yes. and then she started moving around. And then around. ordered a giant and margarita. And then I was like, I'm going to need a margarita. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm with child. Um, I'm going to have to cut this. Uh, is it short? No, we're not, not sure. really short. No. But I'm going to have to cut it because I have to go take Chip... To, he got his windows tinted today. Wow. Wow. The See? man is very sensitive to light. <laughs> he needed his entire car to have on sunglasses. I think I saw his Instagram story that he's like, can't believe I've lived my whole life without this. And it was like fog protector for his glasses. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That just made me laugh so hard. Uh, yeah, it was a game changer for him. <laughs> he truly like, it could be overcast at 6 p.m. And he'll be like, he came out today. He goes, God, it's bright. I was like, here's... <laughs> The sun isn't even present and you're sitting in the shade. So he got his windows tanned. 
um, which is so funny because I remember in high school and that was like a big deal. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, so and so, he's got his window so dark you can't even see him. Oh, like I waved and I hope it was him. Yeah, you, there's all kinds of weird stuff going on in that car that no one knows about. Ugh. Okay, so well, I, well, yeah. Th- I mean, I think it got weird. Lemon and rust. Yeah. <laughs> 